afternoon headlines sponsored by Ram Trucks. They are built to serve. Aaron Rodgers is back from. We, we don't know. No way to find out. I mean, you could. You said you did some digging. Did you find out? I did some research on a rumor. And what? Just say. Egypt. Well, let's just say mud floods were involved. <laughs> uh, we know he's back in ransom routes with MBS, who's now on the Bills. Wow. Here's MBS. He was hanging out with Aaron Rodgers yesterday out here in L.A. So, obviously, this is breaking news for much of the NFL audience. Tell us about it. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Um, <laughs> you know, me and, me and Aaron have been great friends since I've been in Green Bay. Um, you know, I hit him up till I was coming out to L.A. And so, let's, let's run some routes. So, we got it in, man. Went out to some some high school and, and ran some routes together. So it was good. It was good. Yeah. So all the New York media can stand down. Aaron Rodgers <laughs> is back from Egypt. It's not it's not a secret anymore. And he's hanging out uh, with MVS. Okay. So McIntyre saying Egypt. So yeah, McIntyre saying Egypt. I, the the so maybe that's where he was. But that's the I guess different. Yes, any any issue with. No, I think people are going to expect me to kill Rodgers for this, but uh, I think it's actually a really good idea. I think, listen, it's been a long time since Aaron Rodgers won a playoff game. And to be able to spend time with a two-time defending Super Bowl champion, a guy that has <laughs> played in huge games, made big plays, plays some of his best ball in the biggest games of the year, which has, of course, been a weakness for Aaron, I think he can learn a lot from MBS. And so that, you know, even if you're criticized throughout a year to, you know, stay above the fray, to not... Blame, you know, a dishonest media or mm -hmm. say, just be like, you know what? I was going to keep my head down and keep playing and then show up my biggest in the conference championship games and Super <laughs> Bowls that I regularly play in. And so I think that I, I think that's positive. I, I would have loved to know, you know, if there were other guys that, you know, could have gotten the heads up from Aaron to join them. The teammates would be great. But I do think he's worked out a lot with Garrett Wilson. And maybe, listen, Garrett might have been in L.A., but Garrett called. I'm sure MBS knows he got a FaceTime Aaron if he's in LA because Depends. he doesn't have there's no phone service where he lives. It's it's so hard. Yep. Um. So I, no, I think it's a good look. I think it's smart. I think it's good. Good. He can pick his brain. Did our audience pick up the sarcasm? I'm not sure. What sarcasm? We, we, we run a sarcasm. <laughs> what do you? I don't know. What we should have a sarcasm about. meter on the screen. Just being um, honest, trying to be fair. My initial instinct was. Why is he working out with receivers from other teams when he just bailed on minicamp? Um, but then I thought about it. You know, NBA players work out with other guys all the time from other teams. And I actually do sincerely, Nick, like this. Oh. If I'm the Jets, I am encouraged by this, just that he's out there throwing the football to NFL caliber receivers. Like, the, he's that shows me, okay, He's back plugged in. I don't like the fact that he missed the mini camp, mm -hmm. but he is back and he's plugged in, and I'm fine with it. I, I think it's actually a good look. Okay. The only thing I'm wondering is where he was. He, like, this all feels like the main story is why did you miss mini camp? The story has not gone away. I, I'm, I'm interested in where he was. So, well, I, listen, and I don't know that MVS knows, but, I, the, you know, J-Max says Egypt. The, I think Craig also said Egypt on the show yeah, this morning. Um, and they, MVS didn't push back on it. There's, you know, there's – here is what I personally suspect, that if there were a reason, uh, an explanation of what the trip was – that was going to calm the, you know, firestorm surrounding it, we'd have already gotten it. Yeah. And the Agreed. reason we didn't is because whether it was, you know, another ayahuasca trip, as some people had speculated, Albert Breer seemed to open that door quite wide. And now there seems there's the speculation he was in Egypt. I don't know what it is. I just think unless Aaron Rodgers is doing like a long-form Andy Kaufman-esque troll of the media, which also, by the way, in play, that would be <laughs> I, I, uh, I think that the reason we don't know is because people aren't going to be like, oh, well, that makes it better. I think it is. I think what people are going to say is, once again, your everyone's allowed to have outside interests, but those outside interests are trumping your responsibility right. to the team, and it's going to be for something that a lot of us might think is superfluous or not necessary to be done in that. No, I agree conference. with that, and I think, look, obviously, you could have gone. It, let's say it was Egypt. You could go there another time, but 
If the Jets were to come out, look, Aaron had this trip planned to Egypt. The, the talk is that he was helping promote football in Egypt. So if, if you announce that, that Aaron, look, he had this trip to Egypt, he really wanted to go, I don't think that comes off that negative. Egypt, yeah. all right? You're going to a historical place, and maybe you're promoting a game of football yeah. overseas. The, That's not that negative. The pr- right. The problem is if you're going Why to a historical place if to try was... to research whether it's actually historical or we've all been lied to. That's the. I, I that, wanna, that's where it wouldn't be. A good I'd like to eliminate the word Tartania from my vocabulary. Yeah. All right. Welcome back to the show. Check in on the AFC West, which the Chiefs have won eight years in a row. Seems They're like a long time. Favorites to win yet again. But hold on, says Dusty's friend Daniel Jeremiah. <laughs> Don't forget about Harbaugh working some magic. Take a listen. Or idol. Andy Reid is. He is. Andy Reid might be on the Mount Rushmore of NFL coaches. Like he is, if oh, not, he's he is, he is mean, headed there. Yeah. He's in the conversation um, all time. So yeah. it looks insurmountable when you have Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid there. That looks like this. It's been a, it's been a run there. They have dominated this division. I'm not putting it past Jim Harbaugh. He's done it everywhere he's ever been. Okay. Here are the odds. The Chiefs still in the driver's seat. Chargers have jumped up to two. And then uh, Hubs is Raiders. I mean, yeah, and then yikes, the Broncos division. way back there. Yeah, I, just, yeah. Okay. So, any chance the Chargers win the West? No. You know, if we didn't, we only did two shows this week. Mm-hmm. But if we had done a full five days worth of shows and it was Friday, I would have said we could just replay this same segment we've done the last four years around July. Is this the Chargers year? No, the answer is always no. <laughs> no they it's that kind of, oh, Fair. okay, so three years ago. Yeah. When they got rid of Anthony Lynn to bring in young genius Brandon Staley, who Brew didn't hate yet, that was going to be the moment. And then when they did show some improvement that season, and then they went out and signed Khalil Mack and J.C. Jackson because they were going for it. I did. Think. That was going to be their moment. And then when they finally broke through and made the playoffs, and yes, the playoff game was was a hard one to swallow, but people loved the Quentin Johnson pick. Oh, my God, Herbert's got three number ones. They got rid of J.C. Jackson. That worked. That was going to be their moment. And now, after five wins, it's like, no, no, no. Jim Harbaugh's here, even though they lost all those wide receivers, and they lost J.C. Jackson, well, a while wow. ago. They, he's been gone. And... They, they, you know, they restructured Mac and they were able to keep both. Now this is going to be the, no, it's not their moment. It's no one's moment. And Daniel Jeremiah it was sounding very, and I like Daniel as well, very smart in the beginning. Mm-hmm. And then when he was hemming and hawing <laughs> about whether or not, you know, Andy Reid is in the conversation for Mount Rushmore, that yeah. means you're like seventh or eighth all the time. Give me a break. Um, he was in the conversation for top four. Like, come on. But, uh, but yeah. The team with maybe the greatest coach ever and maybe the greatest player ever, that team when they're both in their prime, even though Florio thinks they're both a day from retiring at any given moment, that team's <laughs> going to keep winning Strange. the division, bro. So, yeah, I, 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 no, there's no chance the Chargers win the division. Yeah, what was the question? Any chance. Any chance. No. Uh, no? Next question. That, well, we don't have no. another question. No, <laughs> no. And here's, here's the thing that <sighs> – And I've talked about this in regards to winning the third straight Super Bowl, which we know they're motivated by. But last year, the Chiefs go 11-6. and Worst regular season record for Patrick Mahomes as a starter. Mm -hmm. Patrick Mahomes, we know individually, this guy wants to be the GOAT. Mm -hmm. Individually, his season last year, now obviously it wasn't all his fault, but he didn't have the type of individual season stat-wise that he wants to have. Mm -hmm. He He had his worst passer rating ever. His lowest uh, yards per game average ever. His worst TD percentage, worst interception percentage, and worst yards per attempt ever. I think that's all going to motivate Patrick Mahomes. And I like, we all like some of the receivers, Hollywood Brown and then the rookie that they added. Like, I think, like, I don't think complacency is even on the table for these Chiefs, even though they're coming off two straight Super Bowls. And that is one another thing that's working against these Chargers. And like Nick mentioned, they lost so many guys. Austin Eckler, who was one of their leaders, like their best Man, running Brew back. Brew loves they, old they, running backs. Yeah. So you Eckler added an old right. running back. Eckler was a leader. It's like me drafting a fantasy. I'm like, yeah, this guy's Eckler yeah. was a leader. So, I, I, yeah, no. Can they, I they can be. They can. Well, 
make the playoffs. Be second and fight for the playoffs. That's, oh, where, that. that's where they're at. That's Here, here's Chargers' schedule. Their win total, what was it at Hubs? Eight and a half? Uh, Chargers' schedule. I'm just saying they could start off, if you beat the Chiefs September 29th, I'm just saying if, if. It's a home game against the Chiefs. That's all I'm saying. I'm not, I'm so still what a you, what, what you, to give us I'm a just record? saying, look, you got the Raiders, dub. You got uh, Carolina, W. Pittsburgh, At what? Pittsburgh, they're going to be underdogs. That's not going to be easy. They're okay. going to be underdogs. You, you believe in Pittsburgh's quarterback? 